How to use the new symmetries in Photoshop CC 2019 with the brushes. Now the key thing is, just actually go and select the brush tool. Not all the brushes will work with the symmetry feature and there's a new two options there, radial and mandala. So you can change the segment count once you've selected the actual radial and you can then just apply the brushes. I say, some brushes will not work, it will just warn you if, it, if you can't use them, it will just, like, but then just using change the colour, just apply it like that. And the key thing is here is the actual little butterfly or reflection at the top. Just click that and you can see all the various mirror tools and features that Symmetry can use. So you can just apply the brushes. Just see it repeated all the way around. It's quite slow, it's not the quickest of things. It can actually drag a bit if you're using maybe some of the more complex brushes. So you can, like a watercolour, you sort of see it, and it will just sort of smoothly go drag across so but in general if you use some of the sort of finer brushes it's quite quick again click on the, the symmetry there and you can transform the symmetry don't have to keep it in the same don't have to keep it in the center of the guy just drag it over you can resize that and you can just just there of course you don't actually have to use the same thing you can apply another radio one and set the value to a different value you can apply the brushes there to see the different brushes just add it there Right, you can see it all reflected all the way around. And again, you can just go back over to that little symmetry. You can turn it off, you can hide the symmetry. The symmetry is now off. You can also just see, I'm going to fill that. And I'm just going to use the mandala now. And once you've done that, segment count, move that up, click OK. And again, you can move that around, resize it and position it. I like to actually fill the whole thing. Wish it would actually just go all the way straight off. Makes it easy instead of just stopping just at a certain point, but it's just the way I've done it. And you can then just obviously draw the, the lines and you can see that very quickly, it actually moves quite fast there. But again, like I say, if you use something like watercolor, it's a bit slow, you go and select some. The brushes I'm using here are the Carl brushes. So they, you can find those on the Photoshop website. Very quick and easy to find those brushes. Really great tools, which you can just, so you can just apply them there. And just kind of select another one. Just cut their watercolour. And like I say, these ones are a bit slow with the old symmetry. It does take a bit of a drag, as you can see. Maybe my machine isn't particularly super fast, but it's, uh, so you can just see it repeated all the way around, just very nicely. And again, just go to that tool up there, the mirror, the symmetry, little sort of butterfly at the top. It's a really, it's got all the various other ones as well, wave, spiral, etc. But these ones, I think, really, really work quite nicely. And then, like I say, introduced with CC 2000 and 19. You can of course turn it off, don't have to use it. You can just drag it over to some different position and then just apply those brush strokes again. And then again, select a different brush. If you can't use the brush, if it suddenly says, no, you can't use it, well, you can just go and select another. You see it's a bit slow there, it just takes a bit of time. You can say, turn the symmetry off or go and use radial, set a different count there. I'm using three at this point, so it's different from what was before. Then you can just apply transform it. Sometimes you can actually find you can't see it. <laughs> That's one of the trickiest things there. You can just have to, have to find the, the bounding box. So you just move that around and then once you've positioned it there, press return of course and that's it. All right, hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.